In this problem, we're given the general form equation of a hyperbola. The general form equation is essentially just the expanded form of a standard form equation. So in order to find all of this information that we want from this hyperbola, we're going to need to take the general form equation and convert it into standard form. So in order to do that, what we're going to have to do is group all of the x's together, group all the y's together, and complete the square on both the x's and the y's. Now before we can start to do that, we have to consider is this going to be a horizontal uh, hyperbola or is it going to be a vertical hyperbola? And to determine that, we have to look at the quantities that are being squared. So we see we have x squared here and we have this negative y squared here. Because the x squared is positive and the negative y squared is negative, that's going to determine that the x squared is going to be the leading value in our difference, meaning our transverse axis is going to be horizontal. So we're going to group the x's first, then we're going to group the y's, and we're going to complete the square to change this into standard form. So grouping all the x's, we have x squared minus 2x, and then we have minus y squared minus 2y, and then to complete the square, we actually want this negative one to be on the right side. So we're gonna add one to both sides, so equals one. Now in order to complete the square, we need our leading coefficient of each group to be positive one. So for the y's, we're gonna actually factor out a negative here. So we're gonna factor out a negative, and in doing so, so we are grouping this, we have factored out a negative one, that's gonna make this value positive and that value positive there. We're also gonna group our x's so that we can then just complete the square. So to complete the square, we take the b value divided by two, so negative two divided by two, that's negative one, and square that, so that's positive one, and then you add that to both sides. In this case, we take two divided by two, which is positive one, and we add one, uh, square that, and we get one, and we add that to both sides. Now we're not actually adding a positive one here because if you can see, this positive one is being multiplied by a negative. So if we were to uh, apply the distributive property, this would actually be one times the negative one that is the coefficient. Then we have to factor each of our groups. So this uh, quantity of the x is being grouped factors to be x minus one, that quantity squared, uh, minus, this quantity factors to be y plus one quantity squared equals, uh, this is one plus one, which is two. This ends up being negative one, so those kind of cancel. So we end up with just positive one. So this is actually our standard form equation. If you feel more comfortable and it helps you see the values of a and b a little bit better, we could write this as being divided by one and now it looks more like the standard form equation that we're used to. So this is our standard form equation and we're going to use this equation to try and find all of this information.